The Guam Swimming Federation held their spring 2022 time trials at the Israel Sports Complex, St. John Swimming Pool in Upper Tumont for a chance to represent for Team Guam. Uh, it's been about three years since they've actually competed locally, so uh, a lot of nerves. They're, uh, they're excited. We're all excited to see them. We're, we're grateful that St. John's has opened up the pool for us to utilize, uh, but ultimately it's that competitive spirit that, that we're trying to keep, uh, keep going. Event results will determine Team Guam's selection for the 19th FINA World Championships to be held in Budapest, Hungary from June 18th through July 3rd, 2022. A lot of these uh, swimmers are, are full-time athletes and, and students, so their, their conditioning is, is they're ready. Um, all they really need to do is compete more, get in the pool and, and race each other. So they've been swimming all year, uh, whether it be in the ocean or, or this pool here. So their, their conditioning is there, they're, they're very sharp, and again, this is a pre-qualifier. They, they had to be eligible to swim in this time trial. Swimming events for the time trials included the 200 meter freestyle, 200 meter individual medley, 100 meter freestyle, and 100 meter butterfly. You can't be training in the beach, because the beach, you, don't, you can't watch their technique, you can't watch their forms, you can't be training at their times. There's a lot of things you're missing. All you can do is try for stamina. Swimming, you have many things. Technique is very important. How to use the walls, how to make the correct turns, how to push off correctly, how to kick. And everything counts. And we don't have that, but we hope to get it soon. And that's important. Four schools are being represented in the inaugural AAAG bowling season. The sport has finally made its way into the high school season. Father Duenas, Harvest Christian Academy, St. Paul and Southern High made history as the first teams hit the lanes at Central Lanes. Bowling has been around the island for a long time. We have uh, quite a few island champions that left island and won gold medals. And to have it now back in the high school, hopefully down the road we can have an all-island champion in bowling, like in other sports. And uh, yes, yeah, just a fun all-around thing. And we, we're growing new bowlers now that we're all coming back out of the, the COVID environment. And the good thing about bowling is you don't have to be six foot tall. You don't have to be a football player. Anybody can do it. 55 athletes showed up for the first weekend of competition. The league expects more players to be eligible for the next meet. Format for the league is cross-country style. There are numerous scholarships that are uh, offered. I was here 21 years ago, and uh, we had Pepsi. Pepsi offered a, a scholarship for uh, students. And so, um, yeah, I think it'll be a good thing once we get that program. This is just the beginning, uh, so we're all new to it again. But it's been a long time in the making, and uh, we're just happy to have it kick it off today. Here with Coach Donnan Cruz, head coach of the men's volleyball team over at Ball State. Uh, a lot of success in your first year at the Division I level. Yeah, you know, we um, just wrapped up the regular season uh, in the MEVA conference, and um, thankfully won the regular season um, outright. And... Um, that just happened last week, Saturday, while we were playing Purdue Fort Wayne. So, uh, yeah, now we're we're prepping for our conference tournament, and and within the conference tournament, whoever wins that is the team that will represent uh, the Miva um, at the national tournament uh, in UCLA. Finished twenty and three overall. You were twelve and two in conference play, but this is big news for Ball State because the success you guys had this year. It's been uh, quite some time since you won a regular season title. Yeah, you know, I think um, I think it's been uh, almost 20 years since the program has won a regular season and over 25 years since we won the regular season uh, title outright. So, you know, it's definitely big news. Ball State is uh, very well known for some very high level uh, players and coaches that are still in the game right now and um, you know a rich alumni and a rich volleyball history so for a lot of the people that are following it's been a fun season to kind of see us back on top and um, a lot of fun things going on on campus man there's a, a ton of support in the community and uh, it's been a fun year so it's been uh, it's been a lot to to kind of digest as we go along but um, it, it's been a great season so far. 
the transition to NCAA Division One has been a, a fun process for me personally, and um, you know, a lot of my, uh, as I always say, a lot of my upbringing and and the opportunities I had growing up around the game on Guam was, uh, you know, means a lot to me and, and put me right in this uh, position I'm in today. So uh, I know it's a really cool opportunity for local boys to get out and and, um, and do something special. And I'm sure that a lot of the, the young boys and girls back home are aspiring to get, get out and, you know, have good opportunities. And they're definitely there if you take advantage of them. The island's jiu-jitsu community came together to show their support for Guam strongman Joe Gaget Pangalinen, who's battling cancer. BJJ black belt champion Bryant Pangalinen held a seminar last night as part of fundraising efforts at the International Sports Center. My uncle and my dad have touched so many lives, and it just goes to show how much people have uh, we have connections with. And it's just, I'm just so glad to see everybody here to come out and support us like in this in these hard times right now, but really, really, really appreciate everybody coming out and uh, showing their support. I love I love this sport. I've been doing it for years, and I'm just so glad that everybody is around. They're basically my family, so thank you so much, and really appreciate everything. Honestly, when it comes to this sport, it's a lot about family orientation and just understanding that it's not always about competition. It's not always about competing against each other. It's about coming together and being family. I mean, that's how we've all been taught in the gym, inside the gym, outside the gym. And it's just, it's really great to see everybody out here. It's, it's very overwhelming uh, to see this much support for my dad. Um, he's touched so many people. Um, in and out of the gym. It didn't matter who you are, what color, race, religion you are. You were always family to him, to us, and our family can, can't be any more thankful and blessed to have such a support system from the community. And um, we want to thank everybody from the bottom of our hearts. And it just really means so much. Um, you know, it's a difficult time for us as a family, but with this amount of love shown from the community and from Every gym, every, every like, every person, um, it's it's very overwhelming, and I couldn't be any more blessed and happy to have such support coming from everybody here. And thank you to KUAM, thank you to everybody here, thank you to the families for the support for my dad. Uh, just it's it's a blessing in disguise, and we couldn't be any more happier.